family in Salesville trying to get back on their feet tonight after losing everything during the Memorial Day weekend tornado outbreak in North Arkansas. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham spoke with the family about what they went through. She joins us in studio tonight with her story. Ashley. Chris Beth, devastated, cannot begin to describe what the Jones family is feeling right now, completely losing their home and mourning the loss of a loved one. But their community is doing what they can to give them a helping hand. Donna Jones says early Sunday morning she was asleep in her bed to immediately taking cover in her home. Hours later, a nightmare unfolding. And all of a sudden, he goes, take cover and he like got as far in the pantry as we could and instantly just got slammed with just the, the beginning of the tornado that's when i realized everything my mom's house completely like her concrete pad solid just gone all of our house gone looks like we literally just poured a concrete pad. we had wood flooring not an ounce of it left she says after getting her kids to the hospital, her mom was still nowhere to be found. Jones was unsure of what to do next until she received a heartbreaking call. I called my husband and he had told me that they had that they had found her. She was still um, still in the bathroom part of her house, but that she she hadn't made it. So that's when the more horror of everything just just continued. Mark Russell with the University of Arkansas says he knows the Jones family well. They are active members of 4-H showing horses. It's one thing to think about losing a, <clears throat> losing a home, but you know, when I think about their daughters, that, that what they had to go through that night and now what they're going to have to do to recover, it just, it just tore me apart. It really did. To help, they are opening up for donations at their horse shows this weekend and next in an effort to get them back on their feet. They've got the opportunity to drop off some stuff, whether that's whether that's going to be gift cards or whether it's going to be a, a personal check or whatever the case may be. They they need all the help they can get to take that time and do what they're doing for us. No words can put into it what what we truly appreciate that everything that they're doing. And Jones says not just their 4-H family, but community members everywhere have helped them in so many ways. If you would like to donate directly to the Jones family, look for this story on our website for more information. That's KATV.com. On your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. Okay, Ashley, thanks very much. Uh, there will be a donation box at the Horse Show located in Benton tomorrow, one in Fayetteville on Saturday, and then next Saturday there will be uh, one open at the Horse Show in Cabot.